you you consider Muslims black tone liquors. No, yeah, well, stuff. yeah, well, let's be honest. You when Muslims say we are cross worshippers, see, this is where you guys are not honest. Muslims mock Christians. They say we are cross worshippers. There is even a poem that the Muslims spread, and I think it's by Ibn Qayyim, where he calls us all oh, cross worshippers. So mm. it's okay for you call us cross worshippers. It's okay for you say that your God came out of a woman's private part and he poo pooed in his pants and he went to the toilet and your God was beaten and hung naked. So it's okay for the Muslims to say that. But when we give you a taste of your medicine, you stone lickers, you pagans, no, you get upset. I want to make a point from that. Good. The moment any Christian says we are Blackstone worshippers, that same moment he is saying that Jesus is Blackstone worshippers. Show me where Jesus kissed the black stone. I'll give you a million bucks. Show it to me. My Prophet saw Jesus coming on two angels yeah. and he was searching it in Kaaba. And what did he do at the Kaaba? And then right after that, he saw Dajjal. Okay, what did he do at the Kaaba in that hadith? Did he lick and smooch and smother the black stone like your prophet, according to your hadith? He, why was he circling the Kaaba? Because your prophet is a liar and delusional. Because, oh. Okay, you're not listening to me. Hold on, I'm oh. going with you. you. Have you heard me? How many times I've told you your Jesus of the Quran is from Satan? He's not the real Jesus. Are you that stupid? But even going with your logic, you just gave us more reason to hate Muhammad because he turned Jesus into a pagan like him. Thirdly, in that hadith, maybe there's a hadith I'm not aware of. Can you show me in the hadith where Jesus kissed that black stone and licked it like your prophet? I'm waiting. Show it to me. Maybe it's there. I don't know everything. Show it to me. Show it to it's me. It's not there. But Say it again. Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. I don't know if it's there. I, okay. I don't so know. So just because you have a hadith where your prophet saw Jesus running around the Kaaba. I don't call you yeah. black stone lickers because you run around the Kaaba. See, that means you don't listen. I call you black stone lickers because of the black stone, not the Kaaba that Muhammad kissed and smothered and he wept over. When he kissed the black stone, not the Kaaba. Okay. Okay, so why did you confuse me saying you run around the Kaaba with black stone licking? I'm talking about the black stone, not the Kaaba that your prophet would touch and kiss and smother and weep on. Hmm. Okay, so why did you confuse the two? Because many people also consider circulating around Kaaba shirk. Yeah, that is shirk. That's why we reject your prophet because he lied about Jesus and made Jesus like him a pagan. So you're only making us hate Muhammad more for doing this to Jesus. Now, can you show me from my Bible where Jesus licked a black stone? Can you? Uh, and by the way, in that same hadith, who also was around the Kaaba? Wait, wait, the al Masih al Dajjal, the false Christ, right? Yeah. See, that proves your prophet is a liar because he said that the Jal will not be able to enter Mecca when he comes. How did he enter Mecca and do uh, Tawaf? He didn't literally came over there. Come on. Oh, but you use this to show me that Jesus literally kissed the black stone, you hypocrite. Ya Munafik. It was shown to him the act they were doing. Okay, so did they actually do it or was it a lie? Did he, did, are they actually doing it? Look, even if Dajjal was allowed, I don't know why he was allowed. So don't ask What do you me. mean allowed? Your prophet said that the Antichrist, Dajjal, when he comes, will not enter Mecca. But you just when buried yourself. Comes, when he comes, he didn't okay, come. Okay, so then it's not reality. So that means that dream with Jesus running Kaaba, that's not real too. It's a lie. It's fantasy. Thank you. And who should we blame for that? Your prophet. So let, let's make it quick and simple. You quote it. You quoted to me the hadith where your prophet saw Jesus with two angels running around the Kaaba. And he says, see, look, look, Jesus also kissed the black stone. So he's a pagan too. Ha ha ha. But wait, that same hadith said that your prophet also saw the Antichrist running around the Kaaba. But then Muhammad said the Antichrist will not be allowed to enter Mecca. How then did he see him in Mecca doing tawaf? How? I thought he can't enter Mecca. So you can only tell me, well, it's not reality. It's a dream. Yes, thank you. Oh. It's a dream. So Jesus didn't run around the Kaaba. He's dreaming because he's on when, drugs. Listen to me. I'm when his intentions will be bad, that's when he cannot enter. But he's already the Dajjal. In the dream, he says he's one eye. He's the Dajjal. You mean he was good then and he became a bad Dajjal? So in the dream, he was a good. <laughs> let, let me explain. When Tamim Dari, you know who he is, right? Who? Tell me about Dari. Dari, who's Dari Rari? What language are you talking, man? What's your Rari? What do you mean? Whoever that Sahabi was, he 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 met Dajjal, and Dajjal said, uh, "Follow, follow 
they are prophet. And no, Shaytan, Shaytan in a hadith, it says, in a hadith, Abdullah bin Masood had chained someone, and the man said, I will give you a secret if you let me go. Recite Ayat al-Kursi, and you'll be protected. And he let him go. And then your prophet said, oh, that was Shaytan. And he told you the mm. truth, though he's a liar. So that means Shaytan is good too? You see, Shaytan can say the truth to escape. And the Jal can say the truth and still be evil. Yeah, he can say the truth, so he was saying the truth. So that doesn't mean he's not evil. So when did Dajjal go from good to evil? Uh -huh. Evil people can say truth. Yeah, but you you're, see, you're burying yourself and you don't see it. You're the one who's using this Sahabi who saw Dajjal chained up and said to him, go follow Muhammad, saying, see, he's good. But Shaitan told Abdullah bin Masood, recite Ayat al-Kursi, something good. And your prophet said, he told the truth, though he's a liar, because that was Shaitan. So just because the Dajjal said something good doesn't mean he's good. He was still evil. But then you told me, no, no, he was allowed in Mecca, because at that time he was good. What are you smoking, man? Also, Allah said, why do you worship those who, who can neither harm you nor benefit you talking about jesus no it's not about the black stone that your prophet licked and smooched so why did he do that when it can't harm him or or benefit you know, him? because that's said, what omar said wait wait hold on let's use your argument omar ibn al-khatab in bukhari muslim he went to that black stone and he used your words i'm going to repeat your words because that's what he said i know you're a stone that can neither harm nor benefit had i not seen allah's messenger kiss you i would not kiss you so i'm now going to turn it against you why did your prophet lick and smooch a black stone that could neither harm nor benefit so he, he licked it let me be technical he's can you prove to me he didn't french kiss it can you prove to me he didn't French kiss it? He didn't give it a little French, French kiss, Frenchy, Frenchy. Look, he did that as to show respect. By the way, it was Abu Huraira, not Abdullah bin Masood. So thank Jesus, I wanted to correct myself because I want to give you the hadith and you're going to read it. Abu Huraira said, Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam put me in charge of the zakat of Ramadan, that is zakat of Fitr. Someone came to me and started scooping some of the food, food stuff of zakat with both hands. I caught him and told him that I would take him to Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then Abu Huraira told the whole narration and added, he, that is the thief, said, whenever you go to your bed, recite Ayatul Kursi for then a guardian from Allah will be guarding you and Satan will not approach you till dawn. So wait, notice Unless what the person told him. Wait, wait. He said, if you recite Ayatul Kursi, Allah will guard you and Satan will not approach you till dawn, right? Yeah. That's what the person told him. He told him Satan will not approach you, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, keep reading. On that, the Prophet ﷺ said, he told you the truth, though he is a liar. And he, the thief himself, was the Satan. Wow, so the Satan told Abu Huraira, recite Ayat al-Kursi, so Allah will protect you from me. Yeah. And your Prophet agreed with Satan that if you recite Ayat al-Kursi, that Allah will protect you from Satan, even though it's Satan who told you this, and your Prophet agreed with Satan. Yeah, so? so either Satan is good or he's evil and he said something good or Satan is so smart, he deceived Abu Huraira and your prophet into being convinced that this is good advice. Which is it? He's evil, but he, he said the truth to escape. So the Dajjal can say something true even though he's always evil, right? Yeah. So then why was Dajjal allowed in Mecca? Okay, you can ask. After you meet Allah, you can ask him. Oh, so not ask now. How can I ask? I don't have any No, because you're the one who used the hadith where supposedly if I say you're a black stone licker, I'm insulting Jesus, which means you're not understanding the point. And then when I turned it against you, now I says, okay, we'll ask Allah. All right, let's wait till then. We'll ask Allah. Now, coming back to the issue though. Since nowhere in the Bible, you won't find Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, or Moses, or Jesus ever yeah. taking a stone, honoring the stone, and saying it is part of our sunnah that you come and touch the stone, kiss the stone, and cry on the stone. Why then would Muhammad take a stone and venerate it when it was venerated by the pagans, when the God of Moses condemns anyone who takes a stone and erects it and venerates it? Look, I'm looking. I've been looking for the past 30 minutes with you, my friend. Oh, you're very funny. <laughs> well, I'm funny looking, funny smelling. Okay, well, let's wait for Allah to answer that one too. You want to wait for Allah to answer that one? Yeah, 